On today's episode, I'm going to be installing a system called CNIX, C-N-I-X OS. So, uh, I'm going to open up the installer and get it installed. Untrusted application launcher, launch anyway. And we're using the Calamari's installer. So let's go ahead and click next. New York is not my location. Los Angeles is my location. Uh, the keyboard is set to English default. That's correct. I'm gonna select erase this. No swap, just leave it alone. Then as a user, add my info. And I'm going to set it to uh, log in automatically and use the same password for its administrator. This is my personal preference because I'm making videos. But uh, if I was doing this on a personal system or on my own computer, I wouldn't do it this way. Overview looks good. Let's start installing. So as usual, this takes anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. So I'll just go ahead and pause it. And when I come back, we'll either be at a reboot or on a new desktop. Okay, installation is now completed, so I'll click on the restart now and click on done. This should reboot us into the system. CNIXOS or CNIXOS. Okay, we're now booted into the system. So one of the first things it looks like I need to do is fix the uh, display settings. So let me just go ahead and go to my system settings. Click on display. Find a 1920 by 1080. Hit apply. Keep this configuration and close. Now the system should always open up in this uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, aspect ratio all right uh seems to be a xfce uh desktop uh environment so we have the top panel and we have a dock on the bottom so on our top panel we have of course our uh, user info click it on here it gives you the session so you can lock screen switch users suspend shut down or log out next to that we have our clock date and time just a simple clock and date then we have our notification manager you can set it to do not disturb you can clear any messages that you had on here then we have our presentation mode and we also have volume rocker so here you control your volume your microphone and even edit your audio mixer I'm seeing a logo for HP I'm not sure if this is for printers or something but I don't have anything HP hooked up on here, so uh, I'll just click on quit. And we got EN to show us that we are in English. And then we have our internet connection. So if you had any Wi Fi or anything, you would find it here to set it up. All right. And then we have our uh, applications menu. It's a standard whisker, whiskers application menu. Standard on the, well, it's not standard, but it's, uh, it's used on the XFCE uh, desktops. And here you can see we start off with our favorites. Then we have our recently used. Then we have a tab for all applications. Under that, we have accessories, development, games, graphics internet, multimedia, office, settings, and system. And here on the applications launcher, you also have your uh, system settings, your lock screen, 
and your session manager to log out or shut down, reboot, all that. All right, but well, we'll start off with our accessories, see what we have here. We have a calculators, disk, bulk rename, which is Thunar, mouse pad, a text editor, a lot of your uh, simple software. So we'll take a look at uh, mouse pad, which is our text editor. It's just a simple text editor. And you can see on the bottom, it's uh, version 0.5.10. And that is your text editor. And in development, we have Genie and Meld. Genie is an IDE, uh, it's an IDE text editor. So if you want to write code, things like that, you would look at your fast and lightweight IDE. So it's Genie 1.38. And back to the menus, we have games. So these are simple games like DOS Box, Emulator, and All Right Solitaire. Under that we have Graphics, which we have GThumb as our Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, another Image Viewer, and we have uh, GIMP. GIMP, of course, being the uh, preferred uh, replacement for Photoshop once you get on Linux. It works well and it does what it needs to do. And the version here is 2.10.34. All right, back under internet, we have FileZilla, Firefox, Remina, Telegram, and Transmission. So let's take a look at Firefox, which is our web browser. And being that we are on a Debian-based system, this should be the ESR version. Yep, the extended support release. That's what ESR stands for. So it's 115.5.0. And since we got a web browser open, open, let's take a search for CMIX to see if we can find any info on it. And there is a website called cnix.org. And it just says free of adware, free of spyware. And there's a safety section, security, and privacy, which is pretty much common on all uh, Linux systems. Then to download, click right here in the mirror, and it'll take you to the download. See right here is downloading, but I'm going to go ahead and stop it because I don't need to. All right, that's your web browser. Let's get back to multimedia. Let me see, we got ASU or AS, AS, a, a Sunder, CD Ripper, Audacious, MVV, Simple Screen Recorder, SM Player, Sound Converter, XF Burn, quite a few stuff. Let's take a look at SM Player, which is uh, another uh, favorite uh, media player of mine that I like to use. And SM Player. Version 22.7.0. And this is your video player mainly. But I mean, you can play audio also. You can also open up URL streams, TV streams. You can tell. You can even, right here in the URL, you can even put YouTube links and it'll open up the YouTube uh, video right here for you. And this is SM Player. All right, back to the applications. We have Office. Of course, we have our. LibreOffice Suite, which uh, most Linux systems do. If not, it's easy to download. And let's see what version we're running here. Should be the 7.4. There it is, 7.4.7.2. And LibreOffice Community. All right, moving along. Uh, we have our settings here, pretty much anything you want to do with the system. You can either open up the settings manager, it'll, open up multi, it'll pretty much open up everything on here, but in the own in its own uh, its own app. Here's an example. So pretty much everything on that list is pretty much right here, plus other stuff. So if you wanted to, you know, take a look at themes, window managers, workspaces, display, keyboard, 
everything's out here. Mouse, mouse, removable drives, default applications, accessibility, session and startup, settings editor, anything to uh, fix your system settings should be on here. And then under that we have system, under system we have uh, quite a few things here like time ship, your terminals, uh, Thunar file manager, thing like that. So we haven't seen the file manager yet, so let's take a look at Thunar. And it's your basic file manager, 4.18.4. And that's your file manager, Thunar. So getting back to the system, I see we have our H top right here. So let's go ahead and open that up. So we can take a look at our resources. Make it bigger for you guys. As you can see, we're using 820 megs of uh, RAM. CPU usage is very low right now also. All your processes are running right here. So if you needed the ID to kill it or anything, you can find it easily right here. Using a mouse wheel, you can scroll up, scroll down, all that good stuff. And what terminal is this that we're using? This is the XFCE4 terminal, 1.0.4. Uh, since they do have HTOP, let's see if they have a uh, NeoFetch also installed. So we'll go back to the system, get back to the XFCE terminal, make it bigger. Let's try NeoFetch. And they do. Go ahead and make this bigger. So you can see it's based on Debian and the kernel is using is 6.1.0 and the desktop environment is XFCE 4.18 all right it's XFCE on Scenix uh, it's a pretty cool system haven't seen uh, nothing wrong with it yet so far so it does what it needs to do. It works. Uh, if we wanted to take a look at some uh, theming, we can always go here to the appearance. It's a pretty simple theming system. Let me open the folder. Shrink them down. And so right now we're on Art Darker. But let's say we want to use that white on. Add white to dark. Art. Art Dark. Arc lighter, then you got some breeze, gray bird, gray bird dark, new mix. So uh, I'll leave it just on breeze dark. Or, yeah, I like arc dark better. So, all right, I'll leave that on arc dark and call it a day. And also, if you want to change the wallpapers, just right click on the screen desktop settings and that'll open up your wallpapers so you have this one and you have this one and I think you have more uh, wallpapers if you uh, go down to the folder and you go to backgrounds yep that opens up your standard was well, supposed to be your standard XFCE backgrounds but it looks like it's customized with a uh, scenic backgrounds so It is what it is. Ah, I see they like their four trucks and they got their ego, so they're proud of something here. <laughs> yeah, I think I know the theme that they're going for, but hey, it is what it is. Oh yeah, gotta love them guns too. All right, I'll just leave it back on the farm. And I'll go ahead and cut it short from this video. Uh, if you see something you like here, you think it's, you think this is the system for you, then uh, homepage and download links will be down in the description. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. And I'm out.